At 9.45 a.m., someone called the Alphabet Jewish Day School in Annapolis saying there was a bomb inside the school. With kids and staff evacuated, police and fire crews searched the building. No device was found. Fifteen minutes later, the phone rang at the Rosenblum Owings Mills Jewish Community Center. The caller told a staff member there was a bomb in the building. We decided that we didn't feel the threat was credible, and we decided not to evacuate the building and continue with our normal operating procedures. Paul Lorry leads the seven-person security team at the Owings Mills JCC. We do believe that they're all connected in some way, and we've talked to local and national authorities who have kind of shared information believing the same kind of situation. Lorry tells me no new security policies are in place, saying the center already has strong procedures, including a See Something, Say Something campaign launched 18 months ago. We've really taken this opportunity to remind people about that campaign. We have signs up around the building to make sure our staff is vigilant with that, to make sure that you know everybody's doing their role to keep us safe. The Jewish Community Centers Association of North America is calling on federal officials to quickly identify and capture whoever's responsible for the threats. It's very disappointing the increased acts of anti-Semitism or hate towards any group in, in our country. Barack Herman, the Baltimore County Center CEO, tells me his members aren't afraid and they're encouraged by the community's support. Churches, um, other different religious groups have been reaching out with phone calls and it's been really, truly incredible. This is the first time a bomb threat has been called into the Owings Mills JCC. Reporting from Owings Mills, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.